Did you know that eating this with honey can lead to cancer and dementia? Honey, a gift from bees, has foods that pair well with it and others that do not. Even good honey must be eaten correctly to benefit the body. Eating it with the wrong foods can harm your health. So, we've prepared this. To prevent cancer and dementia, we'll tell you about three foods that are the worst to eat with honey and three that are the best. There's one food on earth that doesn't spoil. In ancient Rome, it was considered so precious that it was called dew from the heavens. Today's star is sweet and nutritious honey. Made by bees from nectar and their enzymes, it's rich in sugars, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, iron, zinc, and antioxidants. Honey is a natural sweetener with anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties and is excellent for immunity. Did you know there are about 320 types of honey worldwide? The type of honey depends on the flowers the bees visit, like acacia, canola, chestnut, and manuka honey. Wildflower and clover honey come from various flowers, and there's even artificially fed sugar honey. To produce one kilogram of honey, bees must visit about 5.6 million flowers. We're truly grateful to bees for this healthful gift. But, did you know there are foods that can be harmful when eaten with honey? Let's explore three foods that are the worst to eat with honey for cancer and dementia prevention and three that can extend our lifespan and good health. Firstly, the worst food to eat with honey is tofu, soy milk, or soy-based products. While the dangers of sugar are well known and many think all sweet foods are bad, natural honey is different from sugar. Sugar, with its large molecules, is broken down into smaller glucose or fructose molecules during digestion, consuming insulin, calcium, and vitamins in the body, and raising blood sugar. In contrast, honey, a gift from bees, is already broken down into simple sugars, so it's immediately absorbed by the body as an energy source. That's why honey relieves fatigue and boosts energy. With its health benefits becoming known, natural sugar from honey is popular in various recipes, especially with soy milk and tofu. However, combining them is a mistake. Soy milk, rich in protein, reacts with the organic acids in honey, creating a precipitate that is not absorbed by the body, rendering the protein intake useless. Additionally, the cold nature of soy clashes with the warming properties of honey, causing digestive issues. So, avoid eating tofu and soy milk with honey. Then, what foods are best to eat with honey? Our first recommendation is milk. Instead of soy milk, milk pairs wonderfully with honey. Many people struggle with insomnia, and sleep is crucial for our bodies. Warm milk with honey is the perfect solution. Milk contains tryptophan, an amino acid that converts to the serotonin neurotransmitter in our body, known as the happiness hormone. Surprisingly, it suppresses the arousal hormone responsible for insomnia, aiding deep sleep. However, this amino acid isn't fully absorbed when milk is consumed alone. Adding honey, which contains tryptophan and facilitates its absorption, enhances the effects. Thus, combining milk with honey is more effective for happiness, stability, and sleep health than milk alone. Secondly, the worst pair with honey is foods like black tea or unripe persimmons, rich in tannins. Have you ever felt a stringent taste from oversteeped black tea or unripe persimmons? That's tannin, a miraculous antioxidant polyphenol that removes free radicals, prevents cell aging, and cleanses waste from blood vessels. However, don't mix these tannin-rich foods with honey. The iron in honey, when combined with tannins, forms an indigestible compound, undermining the health benefits of both. Also, avoid making honey tea with boiling water. The vitamins, amino acids, 
and beneficial enzymes in honey are heat sensitive and get destroyed in hot water. Use warm water around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius to preserve honey's health benefits. The second best pair with honey is cinnamon. Instead of black tea, cinnamon honey tea is an excellent health elixir. Honey boosts immunity, containing vast amounts of vitamins and minerals. These components strengthen our immune system, protecting us from colds and external viruses. Notably, honey contains propolis, a natural antibiotic substance. Ever wonder why bees in a hive don't get infected like other insects or animals? It's because they coat the hive entrance with propolis to prevent germ penetration. Propolis in our body acts against bacteria, inflammation, and cancer, preventing cell duplication and inducing cell suicide. It also reduces cholesterol levels and strengthens intestines and blood vessels, preventing cardiovascular diseases. When honey and cinnamon, full of antioxidants, are combined, they enhance honey's anti-inflammatory effects and reduce inflammation in blood vessels. This combination improves blood circulation, making it a miraculous pair for cold hands and feet and relieving pain from arthritis or muscle aches. Astonishingly, cinnamon lowers blood sugar, allowing you to enjoy healthy sugars. Remember cinnamon honey tea for your health. Lastly, the worst pair with honey is onions. Despite the popularity of onion pickles and honey, combining them is a bad idea. Onions contain volatile compounds like allyl sulfide, which cause gas when consumed. When eaten with honey, they can lead to severe abdominal bloating and chronic digestive issues, and even deteriorate eyesight. Furthermore, the vitamins and plant compounds in onions inhibit the health benefits of honey. So, avoid eating onions and honey together. Finally, the third best pair with honey is radish. With the cold weather, many suffer from colds, coughs, and phlegm, which create an environment conducive to virus proliferation. The best remedy is the miraculous combination of honey and radish. Ever heard that radishes in fall and winter are better than ginseng? As the temperature drops, radishes become sweeter and richer in nutrients. Eating radishes with honey strengthens the lungs and bronchi, making it an excellent remedy for coughs, phlegm, and immune strength. The spicy and pungent taste of radish is due to mustard oil, which strengthens the bronchi and thins phlegm. Rich in vitamin C, radishes boost immunity, especially when combined with honey, creating a powerful synergy. Drinking radish tea with a spoonful of honey is great. A tip, use the radish skin, rich in vitamin C, finely chopped, mixed with honey, and left to mature for a week, to create a tonic for immunity and cough relief. In conclusion, when enjoying the benefits of honey, remember not to mix it with tofu, soy milk, or soy products, and instead combine it with milk. Avoid tannin-rich foods like persimmons or black tea, and opt for cinnamon. Also, choose radishes over onions for a healthy combination. By choosing the right pairings, you can maximize the health benefits of honey and protect your well-being. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time. Did you know that consuming carrots with certain foods could contribute to health issues, including cancer and dementia? Every food item has its perfect match that enhances health benefits, as well as incompatible pairings that could be detrimental. Even carrots, 
known for their health benefits, need to be consumed wisely. Pairing them with the wrong foods could, in fact, harm your health. Therefore, we've prepared a guide to reveal three food pairings that are most beneficial with carrots and three that should be avoided to prevent cancer and dementia. Hello, everyone! It's your go-to source for top-notch health information. When we eat, we rarely consume just a single ingredient. A dish usually combines various ingredients, enhancing each other's taste and nutritional impact. However, a good taste pairing doesn't always mean a good nutritional pairing. Ingesting incompatible foods together can harm your body and even lead to serious diseases like cancer and dementia. Nature has endowed every food ingredient with beneficial nutrients. Knowing these and consuming them wisely is the key to health. Today, we spotlight the carrot, well known for its health benefits. As a leading vegetable in the beta-carotene and vitamin A department, carrots are not only visually appealing with their vibrant color but are also packed with nutrients that are especially good for eye health. They contain a wealth of plant-based fiber and ingredients that activate bifidobacteria in the gut, thus promoting digestive health. Additionally, their rich folate content helps prevent aging, and they possess glucocorticoid substances that offer anti-inflammatory and anti-allergic benefits, making carrots a true superfood. Notably, carrots have a long shelf life if stored dry and sealed in the refrigerator, retaining their nutritional quality all year round. However, are you aware that even such beneficial carrots can become harmful when consumed with certain foods? Let's explore three food combinations with carrots that should be avoided for cancer and dementia prevention, alongside three optimal pairings. Firstly, the worst match for carrots is cucumbers. In many Korean dishes, such as bibimbap and gimbap, carrots and cucumbers are commonly eaten together. Even raw carrots and cucumbers are a popular snack, especially for hydration during hiking. However, this combination is particularly bad. Carrots contain ascorbinase, an enzyme that destroys vitamin C, found abundantly in cucumbers, thus nullifying its benefits. But, there's a workaround. Cooking carrots in a lightly oiled pan can reduce the enzyme's activity, preserving vitamin C. Therefore, it's healthier to consume cooked rather than raw carrots with cucumbers. A small amount of vinegar can inhibit enzyme activity, but it should be used sparingly to avoid destroying the beta-carotene beneficial for eye health. Now, introducing the best food pairings with carrots, apples stand out as an excellent match due to their rich vitamin C and potassium content, complementing the beta-carotene and vitamin A in carrots. This combination creates a synergistic effect, enhancing nutrient absorption. Recommended recipes include carrot apple salad or juice. Additionally, lemon pairs well with carrots. Adding lemon juice to carrot juice can prevent the destruction of vitamin C and maximize nutrient absorption. The popularity of juices combining apple, beetroot, and carrot, known as ABC juice, and detox juices made from cabbage and carrots attest to their health benefits. However, caution is advised with store-bought juices, as many contain high-fructose corn syrup, more harmful than sugar, promoting chronic inflammation and contributing to cardiovascular and brain health issues. Moreover, some sugar-free products may contain aspartame, a controversial sweetener. The second worst food combination with carrots is stir-fried dishes using unhealthy oils. The issue isn't the dish itself but the type of oil used for frying, such as soybean or corn oil, rich in omega-6 fatty acids that can provoke inflammation and clotting, increasing the risk of heart disease and dementia. Instead, opt for omega-3 rich oils like olive or flax seed oil, which balance omega-6 intake and cannot be produced by the body, thus must be consumed through diet. 
Eggs are another perfect pairing with carrots. The vitamin A in carrots is crucial for eye health and skin maintenance, while eggs contain nutrients that work together with carrots' nutrients to enhance overall health benefits, including fatigue recovery. Cooking eggs with carrots improves nutrient absorption with minimal loss. Moreover, while frying vegetables, including carrots, might seem like a harmless method to enjoy their benefits, it's actually detrimental. The high heat can produce toxins, especially from the carbohydrates in carrots, leading to inflammation and increasing the risk of chronic diseases. Thus, avoiding fried foods, even those containing healthy ingredients like carrots, is vital for preventing diseases such as cancer and dementia. The ultimate beneficial combination involves using certain oils with carrots. Cooking carrots with oils rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as olive oil or flax seed oil, can significantly increase the absorption of beta-carotene. Since beta-carotene is fat-soluble, combining it with the right type of fat not only enhances absorption but also maximizes its health benefits, including improved lung function and eye health. In conclusion, while carrots are highly nutritious, how they are prepared and combined with other foods can significantly impact their health benefits. To maximize the advantages of consuming carrots, avoid pairing them with cucumbers, Opt for beneficial combinations like carrots with apples or eggs, and choose healthy cooking methods over frying. Remember, even the healthiest foods can become harmful if not prepared and consumed wisely. Protect your health by making informed choices about how you enjoy carrots and other nutritious foods. Did you know that consuming this alongside your corn could potentially lead to cancer and memory loss? Even corn, a staple known for its health benefits, has its share of compatible and incompatible food pairings. Depending on what you pair it with, corn can either bolster your health or, conversely, pose risks. To steer clear of cancer and dementia, let's dive into the three worst and three best food pairings with corn, ensuring we continue to provide only the finest health advice. All naturally produced foods are packed with nutrients essential for our bodies. However, the benefits you reap can vary significantly depending on the type of food and how it's prepared or consumed. Knowing and caring about the best dietary practices is a cornerstone of good health. A whimsical health doctor is always by your side, championing your well-being. Our focus today is on corn, arguably the tastiest snack with a burst of texture and a subtle sweetness. As one of the world's three primary cereal crops, alongside wheat and rice, corn is a fiber-rich food beneficial for gut health. It also contains plenty of linoleic acid, which is excellent for the body, digests slowly, making you feel full longer, and is low in fat and calories. Yet, did you know there are certain foods that can harm your health if consumed with this otherwise healthy corn? Indeed, some should never be eaten together. Hence, let's explore the three worst foods for cancer and dementia prevention when eaten with corn, and the three best foods that could extend our lives healthily. First and foremost, focus on eating corn by itself. Corn is incredibly nutritious packed with carbohydrates, protein, potassium, vitamins, and minerals. It's especially rich in fiber, good for intestinal health. The soluble fiber in corn, beneficial for health, has a sticky quality in the intestines, not only creating a feeling of fullness but also aiding in the elimination of visceral fat. However, corn presents a significant issue. It lacks niacin and tryptophan, essential for our body's metabolic functions. Niacin, or vitamin B3, plays a crucial role in supporting chemical reactions as we convert nutrients into energy. A deficiency can lead to severe symptoms like skin rashes, fever, and gastrointestinal inflammation. 
Thus, it's crucial to pair corn with foods that can compensate for these deficiencies. There's an even bigger issue. Corn has a high glycemic index, posing a danger to individuals with diabetes by exerting significant pressure on them. Furthermore, adding sugar or sweeteners when boiling corn can spike blood sugar levels, exacerbating insulin resistance, the root of many diseases, and significantly increasing the risk of cancer and dementia. Therefore, eating corn as a meal replacement or for dieting is perilous without essential amino acids like niacin and tryptophan. The best pairing is with pork, beef, or niacin-rich fish. The most manageable and nutritious combination, however, is with milk. Milk lacks niacin but is abundant in tryptophan. This tryptophan is converted into niacin in the liver. Consuming milk not only supplements the essential amino acid that corn lacks but also provides tryptophan, beneficial for insomnia and depression and helps regulate the high blood sugar levels from corn. Conversely, lysine in corn aids in the body's absorption of calcium from milk, making it a perfect match. From now on, remember to consume corn and milk together. The second worst corn product is corn silk tea. Surprising, isn't it? Corn silk tea boasts numerous health benefits, including antioxidants and components like mycin and chlorogenic acid, excellent for anti-aging and eliminating free radicals to prevent cellular mutation. Moreover, ludolin and corn silk aids in fat breakdown, making it ideal for body fat reduction and chronic inflammation and toxin elimination. Its diuretic effect is crucial for preventing body swelling or edema, which, if recurrent, can lead to weight gain and eventually obesity. Boiling corn silk tea at this juncture, with its inositol, glucose, and lepidopterin components, can effectively reduce edema by promoting water expulsion from the body. However, attention is needed here. Those with weak kidneys should avoid corn silk tea. Enhancing its diuretic effect by boiling it with red beans is a definite no-no. The artificial diuretic effect from excessive corn silk tea consumption not only helps eliminate swelling but also strains the kidneys. This can lead to chronic kidney failure, and since corn silk is rich in potassium, excessive accumulation can exacerbate kidney stones and inflammation, posing a risk to the heart and potentially leading to cardiovascular diseases. Therefore, drinking corn silk tea like water is ill-advised, especially for those with weak kidneys. In the future, consider boiling corn cores instead and use it as tea. Corn cores contain beta-cytosterol, beneficial for gum health and preventing diseases like gingivitis. The most famous gum disease medication is made from corn core components, preventing the growth of mutants bacteria, the primary cause of such diseases, and reducing inflammation, making it excellent for oral health and gum disease prevention. Boiling corn cores and using the water as tea or a mouthwash is an effective preventative measure against gum diseases. Cabbage, besides protecting the stomach and aiding digestion, is rich in vitamin U, making it an effective cancer-fighting agent. Corn and cabbage are the best combination. If corn or corn silk tea strains the kidneys due to its diuretic effect, Cabbage, low in potassium but high in vitamins C and K, protects the kidneys, has cancer-fighting properties, and synergizes wonderfully with corn's anti-inflammatory effects. Additionally, cabbage is rich in polyphenols that lower blood pressure, prevent platelet accumulation, and are beneficial for heart diseases. It's also high in quality calcium, magnesium, and vitamin K making it an excellent prevention against osteoporosis. When consumed together, these two maximize the body's calcium absorption rate. Plus, cabbage is good for the brain, preventing memory loss and even beneficial for the eyes. 
Consuming corn with vitamins A, lutein, and zeaxanthin can prevent numerous eye diseases, including macular degeneration, dry eye syndrome, night blindness, and reduce the risk of cataracts and glaucoma. This is the best compatibility for eye protection. You can enjoy a cabbage salad with corn or cook them together for a healthy meal. The third and final food you should never eat with corn is butter. Grilled corn with butter may offer a delightful flavor, but there's no beneficial nutrient compatibility. Corn is rich in tocopherol, beneficial for preventing adult diseases, and potassium in corn helps release sodium, curb blood pressure increases, and prevent hypertension while controlling blood sugar levels. Most importantly, Corn is abundant in linoleic acid, an essential fatty acid that significantly reduces bad cholesterol levels in the blood and prevents cardiovascular diseases like arteriosclerosis, hypertension, heart disease, and stroke. Eating it with butter negates these benefits. Butter, an animal fat, is high in saturated fatty acids, which, if consumed in excess, can lead to cholesterol metabolism issues and increase bad cholesterol levels in the blood, leading to cardiovascular diseases. If you're reducing cholesterol with corn but increasing it with butter, it's counterproductive. Despite recent claims about butter's health benefits and the goodness of a high-fat diet, corn is a carbohydrate. So, Consuming it with butter, which quickly increases calorie intake, is not healthy and should be avoided. How should you eat corn, then? Avocado, a tropical fruit also known as forest butter, is rich in vitamins and minerals beneficial for health, especially potassium, which regulates blood pressure and helps prevent hypertension and stroke. It boosts the immune system and has anti-inflammatory properties. The fiber in avocados serves as food for lactic acid bacteria in the gut, promoting the growth of beneficial gut bacteria. Additionally, avocados enhance cardiovascular health and significantly reduce bad cholesterol levels. Eating it with corn creates a powerful synergy, with a soft texture that's delicious and doesn't cause indigestion, allowing you to care for your health and taste preferences. We've reviewed the three worst and three best foods to eat with corn. In summary, don't just eat a cob of corn, pair it with milk. For those with weak kidneys, opt for boiling corn cores instead of the whole cob. Also, remember to include cabbage in your diet. And finally, avoid combining corn with butter, opting instead for a healthy yet flavorful pairing with avocado. How are you feeling? We hope you enjoy your corn and find the right food pairings to maintain good health. Potatoes are often misunderstood as a starchy vegetable with little nutritional value, but in reality, they offer a wide range of health benefits when consumed properly. From providing essential vitamins and minerals to promoting digestive health and even aiding in weight management, potatoes are a versatile and nutritious addition to any diet. First and foremost, let's talk about the nutritional content of potatoes. They are rich in carbohydrates, which serve as a primary source of energy for the body. However, potatoes also contain a variety of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, potassium, and B vitamins like folate and niacin. These nutrients play crucial roles in supporting overall health, from boosting immune function to promoting heart health and regulating metabolism. One of the key health benefits of potatoes is their high vitamin C content. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect cells from damage caused by free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can lead to inflammation and chronic diseases. Incorporating vitamin C-rich foods like potatoes into your diet can help strengthen your immune system, improve skin health, and even reduce the risk of chronic conditions like heart disease and certain cancers. 
Additionally, potatoes are an excellent source of potassium, a mineral that plays a critical role in regulating blood pressure and maintaining proper muscle and nerve function. Adequate potassium intake has been linked to a lower risk of hypertension and stroke, making potatoes a heart-healthy choice for those looking to improve their cardiovascular health. Furthermore, potatoes contain significant amounts of dietary fiber, especially when consumed with the skin intact. Fiber is essential for digestive health as it helps promote regular bowel movements, prevent constipation, and support a healthy gut microbiome. By including fiber-rich foods like potatoes in your diet, you can support optimal digestion and reduce the risk of gastrointestinal disorders like diverticulitis and irritable bowel syndrome. When it comes to weight management, potatoes can also be a valuable ally. Despite their reputation as a high-carb food, potatoes are relatively low in calories and fat when prepared without added oils or toppings. They also have a high satiety index, meaning they can help you feel full and satisfied after a meal, potentially reducing overall calorie intake. By incorporating potatoes into balanced meals alongside lean protein and vegetables, you can create satisfying and nutritious meals that support healthy weight loss or maintenance. Now that we've covered the health benefits of potatoes, let's discuss some creative ways to incorporate them into your diet. While traditional preparations like mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes, and potato salad are delicious options, there are countless other ways to enjoy this versatile vegetable. One popular alternative is to make baked sweet potato fries. Simply slice sweet potatoes into strips, toss them with olive oil and your favorite seasonings, and bake them in the oven until crispy. These crispy fries are a healthier alternative to traditional French fries and can be enjoyed as a side dish or snack. Another innovative way to enjoy potatoes is by making a potato crust pizza. Simply grate potatoes, squeeze out excess moisture, and press the grated potatoes into a thin crust shape on a baking sheet. Bake the crust until golden brown, then add your favorite pizza toppings and bake until bubbly and delicious. This gluten-free pizza crust alternative is nutritious, delicious, and sure to be a hit with the whole family. Additionally, potatoes can be used to thicken soups and stews, add creaminess to sauces and gravies, and even replace traditional grains in dishes like potato gnocchi or potato pancakes. With a little creativity and experimentation, the possibilities are endless when it comes to incorporating potatoes into your culinary repertoire. In conclusion, potatoes are a nutritious and versatile vegetable that offers a wide range of health benefits. From providing essential vitamins and minerals to supporting digestive health and aiding in weight management, potatoes are a valuable addition to any diet. Whether enjoyed roasted, baked, mashed, or in more creative preparations, potatoes are sure to delight your taste buds and nourish your body. So why not give them a try and reap the many rewards of this humble yet mighty vegetable? If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time. Did you know that eating this with red beans could lead to cancer and dementia? Although red beans are healthy, there are certain foods that pair well with them and others that do not. Even good red beans must be eaten properly to benefit the body. Eating them with the wrong foods can harm your health. Therefore, I have prepared this, 
I will tell you about three worst and best food combinations with red beans for cancer and dementia prevention. When the cold winter comes, bringing tight hands and ears and a paycheck like chill, there's a snack that comes to mind. It's the season for steamed buns and fish-shaped buns, all filled with red beans. Red beans, beautifully colored and nutritionally rich, are often eaten in rice cakes, porridges, and noodle soups. Red beans are a familiar grain to our nation, versatile in preparation and rich in nutrients. Since ancient times, red beans have been known for their health benefits, often referred to as small red beans and widely used in traditional medicine. However, did you know that eating healthy red beans with certain foods can harm your health? Starting now, I'll share three worst and best food combinations with red beans for cancer and dementia prevention. The first worst combination with red beans is sugar. Surprising, isn't it? You might enjoy your red bean porridge with a sprinkle of sugar or sweet red bean bingsu and yang yang, but the combination of red beans and sugar is not good. Refined white sugar, which is already known to be unhealthy, spikes blood sugar and increases insulin resistance, leading to chronic inflammation and contributing to cancer and dementia. But why is it especially bad to eat red beans with sugar? When boiling red beans, you'll notice foam rising, that's the health secret saponin. Saponin, also found in ginseng, is a miraculous anti-cancer component in red beans. It prevents cancer cell proliferation and eliminates active oxygen, the cause of inflammation. Moreover, our ancestors used red bean water for facial cleansing when soap wasn't available. Scientifically, the saponin in red beans cleanses skin pores. It helps prevent atopic dermatitis, itchiness, and, as we age, issues like freckles, liver spots, and wrinkles. It even offers whitening effects. But here's the catch, eating red beans with sugar destroys all the saponin content. So, all the health benefits of red beans are lost when consumed with sugar. So, should you never eat sweet red beans? Not necessarily. The bad combination specifically involves refined white sugar. You can sweeten red beans with brown sugar or honey instead. Sprinkling salt instead of sugar can also enhance the natural sweetness of red beans. Quick note, if you boil red beans with baking soda, it might reduce cooking time but it destroys the vitamins in red beans. Also, remember that saponin, especially concentrated in the skin of red beans, is vital. Now, let's talk about the best combination with red beans. The first one is glutinous rice. Boiling plump red beans with chewy glutinous rice creates the perfect winter delicacy, red bean porridge. A generous serving warms not just the body but also the heart. Chewy glutinous rice cakes filled with sweet red beans are also delicious. Our ancestors knew this, red beans are rich in beneficial effects but have one drawback, excessive consumption can stress the kidneys due to its diuretic action. When eaten with glutinous rice, it balances out perfectly. Glutinous rice not only complements the taste of red beans but also prevents excessive loss of body fluids caused by the diuretic action of red beans. Isn't our ancestors' wisdom amazing? Next, the worst combination for people with weak kidneys. As mentioned, red beans are full of health benefits but can be problematic for those with weak kidneys due to their diuretic effect. The diuretic action of red beans is generally good for health and has recently become popular as a diet food. Drinking boiled red bean water like barley tea or using boiled red beans as a rice substitute is common, especially in cold winters when metabolism slows down, leading to edema. Red beans, with their saponin content, help eliminate swelling through diuretic action. 
However, this effect can be too intense for those with weak kidneys. So, it's not recommended for these individuals to consume red beans excessively or use them as a daily water or rice substitute. What about the second best food combination with red beans? It's pumpkin. If you're wondering why I recommend eating pumpkin, known for its diuretic action, with red beans, it's an excellent question. Both red beans and pumpkin are top diuretic foods, but their processes are completely different. Thus, they create a synergistic effect when eaten together. Red beans help eliminate bodily swelling and waste, while pumpkin suppresses hormone secretion in the kidneys, promoting diuretic action and helping expel excess fluid. Interestingly, while both are diuretic, pumpkin and red beans play entirely different roles. Additionally, pumpkin is rich in nutrients but lacks vitamin B, which is abundant in red beans, creating a perfect nutritional synergy. One might wonder what the essential vitamin, who primarily consume rice, might be. It's vitamin B. Vitamin B is crucial for improving memory, brain health, and dementia prevention, and is vital for proper carbohydrate digestion. Red beans are one of the best sources of vitamin B. In today's world, where many suffer from stress, chronic fatigue, and insomnia, the vitamin B in red beans is essential for fatigue recovery and mental stability. Enjoying red bean porridge or glutinous rice cakes, or topping pumpkin porridge with boiled red beans, is excellent for mental stability and vitality. Lastly, the third worst combination is for people with weak intestines. Red beans are often consumed for intestinal health due to their high fiber content. They contain more dietary fiber than apples, pears, and other fruits, making them excellent for intestinal health. They also help eliminate blood vessel waste and prevent rapid blood sugar spikes, beneficial for diabetes prevention and management. However, for those with weak intestines, this high fiber content can be problematic. The reason lies in the cooling nature of red beans. While red bean porridge is a winter delicacy, red bean ice desserts are popular in summer. Both red beans and ice have cooling properties, which can stress weak intestines and lead to chronic digestive issues. So, should people with weak intestines avoid red beans? Not necessarily. The solution is ginger. Eating red beans with ginger, which has warming properties, solves this issue. Ginger balances the cooling nature of red beans without stressing the intestines. Moreover, the synergy between ginger and red beans is particularly significant. Ever heard that red beans are the ultimate anti-cancer food? The red pigment anthocyanin in red beans is the reason. Rich in the antioxidant anthocyanin, red beans prevent cell aging and inflammation and block cancer. They also improve blood circulation and detoxify blood vessels, preventing diseases like arteriosclerosis. Consuming red beans with ginger maximizes this anti-cancer effect. Gingerol and shogol in ginger sterilize the body's harmful substances and prevent genetic damage. Dried and steamed ginger amplifies these miraculous effects. Boiling dried ginger with red beans creates an anti-cancer tea that resolves coldness and edema and prevents frequent urination caused by red beans' excessive diuretic action. So far, we have explored three worst and best food combinations with red beans. To summarize, when eating red beans, avoid additives like sugar and baking soda to fully benefit from their health properties. Red beans pair excellently with glutinous rice, so enjoy red bean porridge with chewy glutinous rice or glutinous rice cakes filled with sweet red beans. Eating red beans with pumpkin balances nutritional content and maximizes synergistic effects. 
However, if you have a weak intestine or a medical history, be cautious. Those with weak kidneys should not consume red beans excessively. Brewing tea with dried ginger and red beans can provide the benefits of red beans without the drawbacks. How about that? Take care of your health by wisely choosing foods that pair well with nutritious red beans. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time, were you aware of the natural healing properties of mung beans? commonly known as the detoxifying agents? There are foods that are highly compatible with mung beans and others that are not. Even beneficial mung beans need to be eaten correctly to be good for your body. Eating them with the wrong foods can adversely affect your health. So, I've prepared this for you. I will tell you about the three worst and the three best food combinations with mung beans for cancer and dementia prevention. These days, as it has become known that the root of many diseases lies in toxins within the body, there's growing interest in foods that can detoxify substances like heavy metals and waste in the blood vessels. Among these, green beans are a top contender for detoxification. Historically, green beans have been called a natural detox agent, capable of neutralizing hundreds of toxins. Their cool nature can even alleviate internal heat and stress, making them highly regarded in traditional medicine. Green beans can be ground into flour for delicious pancakes or used in porridge and as a coating for sweet rice cakes. They are also used to make cellophane noodles and green bean jelly. Additionally, green beans can be turned into sprouts. Even sleeping with a pillow filled with green beans can alleviate headaches. However, did you know that there are certain foods that, when eaten with green beans, can actually harm your health? Let's now explore three of the worst and best food combinations with green beans for cancer and dementia prevention. The first worst food combination with green beans is green bean jelly and cellophane noodles. Surprising, isn't it? Although they are full of dietary fiber and low in calories, consuming these forms of green beans might not provide the detox benefits you're looking for. The key here lies in the green bean skin, which contains most of the detoxifying agents. So, should we completely avoid green bean jelly and noodles? Not necessarily, as they have their benefits. The starch in green beans contains nutrients beneficial for digestive health, especially a significant amount of dietary fiber that aids the growth of beneficial gut bacteria. Additionally, the resistant starch in green beans feeds these beneficial bacteria, which, in turn, produce butyrate, a compound that nourishes colon cells and boosts digestive immunity. Hence, Green bean jelly and noodles are very effective in preventing colon cancer. However, to reap the detox benefits of green beans, it's best to consume them whole, including the skin, either in pancakes or in their natural form. For dieting and gut health, consuming the starch is beneficial, but keep in mind that the jelly and noodles have lower calories. The first best food combination with green beans is pork. As mentioned earlier, pancakes made by grinding whole green beans are very healthy. Adding pork to these pancakes is even better. While green beans are packed with health benefits, they lack essential amino acids like methionine and tryptophan. Interestingly, pork is rich in these components, making it a nutritionally perfect match. 
Combining green beans with pork in your diet can greatly aid in restoring vitality, especially if you've been feeling unusually tired or weak. The proteins in green beans and pork interact to quickly boost energy and vitality. The second worst combination with green beans is for those with weak stomachs. Green beans are cool in nature, which is key to their detoxifying effect. However, this quality can be too intense for those with sensitive stomachs. But there's a miraculous solution, simply boiling the green beans. Cooking them softens their rough fibers, making them easier to digest and absorb. Therefore, it's beneficial to chew well-cooked green beans as a snack or enjoy them in pancakes. I will also share a health recipe, mixing green beans with other grains to make a nutritious mixed grain rice. This not only creates a synergistic health effect with other grains, but also balances the nutrients effectively. The second best food combination with green beans is garlic. Adding whole garlic to green bean soup or rice can create a miraculous anti-cancer remedy. Although green beans are excellent for health, their cold nature can be challenging for those with weak stomachs or low blood pressure. Garlic's warm properties perfectly balance the cool nature of green beans and maximize their anti-cancer effects. Green beans are packed with antioxidants, anti-cancer components, and brain-protecting elements. Consuming them with garlic, a leading superfood for cancer prevention, enhances their benefits. The spicy and pungent taste and aroma of garlic, attributed to its allicin content, enhance the detoxifying effects of green beans. Garlic also strengthens blood vessels and reduces cholesterol levels making it an even better companion for green beans. The third worst combination with green beans is traditional herbal medicine. As the weather gets colder and energy levels drop, many people turn to herbal medicine. However, it's advised not to consume green beans or bean sprouts while taking herbal medicine due to green beans' strong detoxifying effect. Astonishingly, they can even detoxify the medicinal properties of the herbs, rendering the expensive medicine ineffective. The liver is the primary detoxifying organ in the body, and green beans enhance and protect its function. If you've been experiencing chronic fatigue, darkened facial complexion, or bloodshot eyes, it could be a sign of weakened liver detoxification. In such cases, consuming green beans is highly recommended. Finally, the third best combination with green beans is scallions. The combination of green beans and scallions is extraordinary. As I have continuously introduced, green beans have an amazing detoxifying effect, neutralizing not only heavy metals and harmful substances in the body but also inflammation and cancer cells. However, if these toxins remain in the bloodstream, it could be problematic. Scallions, excellent for inducing urination and protecting the kidneys, help safely expel the waste materials detoxified by green beans. You can enjoy them together as a tea, in green bean and red bean porridge, or rice. Astonishing, isn't it? The combination of green beans and scallions has another benefit discovered during the Joseon dynasty. If you have dark skin, itchy dermatitis, skin troubles, facial redness, or freckles, grinding green beans and red beans together to make a grain pack can help. Mixing green bean and red bean powder with honey and applying it as a face pack can result in bright, glossy, and youthful skin. To summarize, to fully benefit from the detoxifying effects of green beans, it's better to consume them whole or as green bean rice rather than in the form of noodles or jelly made from green bean starch. Especially, green beans pair well with pork. For those with weak stomachs, removing the skin or mixing green beans with other grains is beneficial. Additionally, Consuming them with garlic can make them safer and healthier. Lastly, 
because of their strong detoxifying properties, avoid consuming green beans with herbal medicine and pair them with red beans for both health and taste benefits. How about that? I hope you take good care of your health by choosing the right combinations with green beans. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time. Discover the seven nighttime indicators every diabetic should have on their radar. As the sun sets, diabetes doesn't simply recede into the shadows. It often manifests through unique symptoms that become more pronounced during the twilight hours. Possessing a deep understanding of these nocturnal cues is not just enlightening, but essential, paving the way for effective intervention and ensuring a peaceful night's slumber remains within grasp. Dive deep into the seven pivotal indicators that demand your attention as night blankets the world. Remember, Diabetes doesn't adhere to the rhythms of day and night. As dusk approaches, be armed with knowledge and vigilance, ensuring that you're always a step ahead of this relentless condition. Number 1. Nocturia. Nocturia, a term that might not immediately ring a bell for many, is particularly unsettling and disruptive, especially for those grappling with diabetes. It represents a heightened urgency to urinate during the night, interrupting the tranquility of one's rest and underscoring the challenges often faced by diabetics during the twilight hours. High blood sugar levels, a common challenge among diabetics, frequently culminate in nocturia as the body endeavors to rid itself of surplus glucose via urination. The recurring necessity to rouse oneself from slumber for restroom visits can severely fracture the continuity of one's rest, inevitably leading to daytime lethargy and diminished alertness. Moreover, such interruptions are more than mere nuisances, they act as telling signals that one's glucose levels have veered away from the desired range, urging immediate attention. For individuals aiming to effectively address nocturious nighttime disruptions, a duo of pivotal approaches beckon their attention. The primary step revolves around diligently regulating and routinely keeping tabs on blood glucose levels, ensuring they remain within the desired range. Concurrently, it's advisable to adopt a discerning approach to evening fluid consumption, moderating intake to strike a healthy balance. Yet, should nocturia continue unabated, seeking counsel from a healthcare expert becomes indispensable, as there may be underlying reasons exacerbating this nocturnal challenge. Number 2. Night Sweats. The Silent Alarm. Picture this a serene slumber interrupted by a sudden onset of perspiration, even when ensconced in a cool room. In the world of diabetes, such profuse sweating often stands as a beacon, alerting one to the lurking dangers of nocturnal hypoglycemia or the perilous descent of nighttime blood sugar levels. A myriad of factors, spanning from specific medications and intense insulin regimens to dietary discrepancies or strenuous dusk workouts, can set this alarm ringing. Awakening soaked isn't merely an impediment to restful sleep, it's the body's urge of dispatch, signaling a critical dip in glucose levels. For adept management of such nocturnal interruptions, maintaining a vigilant watch over evening blood sugar metrics is essential. Identifying and recalibrating the culprits behind these night sweats is equally vital. Moreover, with the astute guidance of a medical specialist, a re-evaluation of medication dosages might be in order. And, as a failsafe, stationing a quick glucose replenishing source, 
like glucose tablets or a bottle of juice, by the bedside becomes an indispensable safeguard against unforeseen nocturnal glucose vacillations. Number 3. Restless Leg Syndrome, RLS. The Night's Unsettling Dance. Imagine a deep-seated compulsion, an irrepressible need to move your legs, intensified by sensations that range from the subtle tingling to the torment of a crawling feeling. This is the enigmatic world of restless leg syndrome, a neurological enigma that rears its head most prominently during moments of repose, turning nighttime into a restless ordeal. For those battling diabetes, the plot thickens. There's a noteworthy correlation between the onset of RLS and peripheral neuropathy, a frequent diabetic companion. Navigating RLS within the landscape of diabetes necessitates a holistic strategy. At its core, ensuring that blood sugar remains within the ideal spectrum can mitigate the progression of neuropathy, which indirectly curtails RLS's grip. Layered onto this is the influence of lifestyle. Tweaks such as curtailing caffeine and alcohol can remarkably diminish the symptoms of RLS. While regular, moderate physical activity has its merits, it's worth noting that pushing oneself excessively might inadvertently fan the flames of RLS discomfort. Number 4. Sleep Apnea For many, the gentle art of leg massage or the soothing touch of warm and cool packs brings a semblance of relief from the restless torment. Delving into deep breathing exercises or practicing mindful meditation might also unfurl moments of tranquility. Transitioning to the world of sleep, there's another shadow that lurks, sleep apnea. This stealthy sleep disruptor is marked by intermittent pauses in breathing or fleeting moments of shallow breaths as one slumbers, causing one to frequently emerge from the depths of rest. For those on the diabetes spectrum, sleep apnea isn't just about disturbed rest. The fragmented sleep combined with plummeting oxygen levels can become silent architects of insulin resistance, further complicating the delicate dance of blood sugar management. Sleep apnea, a silent nighttime intruder, often intertwines its roots with obesity, a condition that also casts shadows on the path leading to type 2 diabetes. Navigating the maze of sleep apnea demands a harmonious blend of lifestyle metamorphosis and astute medical strategies. Embarking on a weight loss journey, even if it's just shedding a few pounds, can usher in remarkable improvements, alleviating the haunting symptoms that keep one from restful slumber. For those seeking instant respite, the continuous positive airway pressure, CPAP, machine stands as a beacon, ensuring a gentle flow of air, keeping the nocturnal passageways invitingly open, and promising undisturbed dreams. Embracing certain lifestyle modifications can become a beacon of relief for those grappling with sleep apnea. Foremost among these is the cautious avoidance of alcohol and sedatives, substances known to lull the delicate muscles of the airway into relaxation, making interruptions and in breathing all the more likely. Switching to side sleeping, rather than resting on one's back, can act as a preventive shield against potential airway obstructions. Given the intricate dance between sleep apnea and diabetes, adeptly steering this management can pave the way to stabilized blood sugar levels, invigorating one's overall health and vitality. Number 5. Nighttime hypoglycemia. Nighttime hypoglycemia casts its shadow as a silent dip in blood sugar levels during the tranquil hours of slumber. For those navigating the complexities of diabetes, this nocturnal decline emerges as an imperative issue, mainly because its subtle manifestations can slip beneath the radar. Hallmarks of this condition can range from profuse night sweats and remarkably vivid dreamscapes to the more mundane but distressing morning headaches. If allowed to persist unaddressed, these episodic plunges can escalate, culminating in alarming scenarios like seizures or even a disconcerting lapse into unconsciousness. 
Ensuring that nighttime hypoglycemia remains at bay is pivotal for the holistic health of those with diabetes. Diligent surveillance of blood sugar levels, with a particular emphasis on pre-slumber checks, becomes a cornerstone of such management. When the readings hint at a possible downturn, indulging in a snack laden with carbohydrates can act as a safeguard against these treacherous nocturnal declines. Moreover, fine-tuning the regimen, be it in the schedule or dosage of insulin or other diabetes-centric medications, under the watchful eye of a seasoned medical expert, can serve as a robust strategy to swiftly combat the lurking shadows of nighttime lows. For those navigating the intricacies of diabetes, it's a prudent move to ensure that an immediate glucose remedy, like glucose gel or tablets, remains conveniently accessible by the bedside. Beyond just equipping oneself, empowering friends and loved ones with knowledge about the stark indicators of acute hypoglycemia and instructing them on the proficient administration of emergency glucose or glucagon shots could be the very beacon that spells the difference between peril and safety. Number 6. Nighttime Frequent Thirst as the night blankets the world in its serene embrace, many diabetics find themselves grappling with an insatiable thirst, a silent herald of elevated blood sugar levels. This thirst originates from the intricate dance of biology, heightened glucose concentrations in the bloodstream coax water out of the cells. In response, the ever-vigilant kidneys amplify their efforts, producing more urine to expel the surfeit of sugar. This cyclical process can create a cascade of thirst and frequent nighttime urination, potentially fragmenting an otherwise restful sleep. Addressing this nocturnal symptom becomes a pivotal component in the grand ballet of comprehensive diabetes management. Maintaining a vigilant eye on blood sugar levels stands as a cornerstone in the management of diabetes. Regular monitoring and fine-tuning of medication or insulin dosages, under the discerning guidance of a healthcare professional, becomes an indispensable part of this regimen. While staying hydrated remains vital for overall health, it's a delicate balancing act. To ensure peaceful, uninterrupted nights, it's advisable to evenly distribute your fluid intake during the day, avoiding a surge of consumption as the evening unfolds. Limiting the intake of caffeine and alcohol is a proactive step, given that they can function as diuretics, intensifying urine production. Recognizing and tactfully handling the symptom of nighttime thirst is imperative. It serves as a dual indicator, pointing to the possibility of spiked blood sugar levels while also posing a threat to the uninterrupted, rejuvenating sleep everyone needs. Attending to such signs ensures both physical well-being and the preservation of precious sleep. Number 7. Nighttime Cramps Marked by abrupt and intense muscle spasms, primarily in the legs, nocturnal cramps can be particularly vexing for individuals with diabetes. The onset of these cramps may be attributed to a gamut of reasons, from fluctuating blood sugar levels to diminished blood flow, and even diabetic neuropathy, a nerve ailment stemming from sustained high blood sugar levels. For those seeking to mitigate the frequency of these nighttime disturbances, ensuring consistent and stable blood sugar levels stands as a cornerstone measure. Consistent monitoring of one's health and diligently following medication schedules are pivotal in maintaining balanced glucose levels. Introducing a routine of gentle stretches, especially focusing on the calf muscles, before diving into the realm of sleep can be instrumental in easing muscle tension, thus diminishing the likelihood of nighttime cramps. Staying adequately hydrated, Ensuring that one's diet is rich in essential minerals such as magnesium and potassium, and investing in ergonomically designed footwear can serve as invaluable preventive measures against these distressing cramps. Indulging in a soothing warm bath or embracing the gentle comfort of heating pads can be incredibly beneficial in alleviating the distress of cramps. 
Should these nighttime discomforts persist or amplify in severity, it becomes imperative to seek the guidance of a trusted healthcare expert. Unearthing any underlying causes and obtaining tailored treatment advice is crucial. Being astutely aware of these signals serves as a vanguard in your journey to manage diabetes with precision and efficacy. By enhancing your sleep quality, you're not just gifting yourself restful nights, but also bolstering your comprehensive approach to diabetes management. I'd highly recommend diving into this video which delves deeper into pivotal diabetes symptoms that every individual should be privy to. If you found value in this content, do consider subscribing to our channel for more enlightening insights. Your time and attention are greatly appreciated. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Did you know that eating black beans with this particular food can lead to cancer and dementia? Black beans, known as beef from the field and a superfood, have both good and bad food combinations. Even beneficial black beans need to be consumed correctly to be good for the body. Eating them with the wrong foods can instead harm your health. So, we've prepared this. To prevent cancer and dementia, we will tell you about three foods that are the worst to eat with black beans and three that are the best. Beans have been considered one of the most perfect foods in human history, and among them, black beans are receiving global attention along with the popularity of black-colored foods, or black foods. Black beans are not only filled with high-quality protein and nutrients that can substitute for meat, but they also have an anti-aging and antioxidant effect four times greater than regular beans. People consume black beans in various forms like bean side dishes and soups, or as tofu and fermented soybean paste. The taste of black beans is so rich and nutty, it's tempting just to hear about it. Of course, they're tasty, but the health benefits of black beans range from being a blood vessel tonic to preventing dementia and cancer. However, did you know there are foods that can harm your health when eaten with black beans? Now, let's look at the three worst and the three best food combinations with black beans for cancer and dementia prevention. First, the worst combination with black beans is surprisingly milk. Many people blend black beans with milk or add black bean powder to milk, but it's not a good combination. Recently, black-colored foods like black beans, black sesame, and black rice are gaining immense popularity. But what makes black foods such excellent health foods? The key lies in the black pigments in black bean skins, called anthocyanins. These anthocyanins are miraculous antioxidants, eliminating harmful active oxygen in our body that can cause aging, inflammation, and cancer. Moreover, the darker the color, the stronger the anti-aging effect. Black beans, the darkest of black foods contain as many as nine types of anthocyanins, making them a must-have in your diet. However, there's a significant issue with black beans. They contain phytic acid. While this compound plays a crucial role in forming the skeleton and recharging energy, when consumed with milk, it binds with the calcium in milk to form an insoluble mass called calcium phytate. Therefore, even if you consume milk and black beans for health, it's pointless. Moreover, this calcium phytate can strain the kidneys, potentially causing swelling, kidney stones, and inflammation. So, if you have kidney issues, be extra cautious. How should you eat black beans, then? It's simple. Instead of milk, Blend them with soy milk or water. Additionally, there's a secret to maximizing the synergy with black beans. The first best food combination with black beans is vinegar. 
We're exposed to various toxins daily, from microplastics and air pollution to chemicals. As toxins accumulate in the body, the liver, which detoxifies, suffers first. Excessive toxins lead to fatty liver, hepatitis, and even liver cancer. Therefore, it's crucial to consume foods that detoxify the body and support liver function. Black beans and vinegar together make a miraculous detox diet. Black beans are full of dietary fiber, which surprisingly binds with toxins in the body and expels them. Plus, the protein in black beans wraps around the liver, protecting it from bad cholesterol absorption and preventing fatty liver. However, there's a problem. The dietary fiber in black beans is hard to digest, leading to intestinal gas and chronic indigestion. Many soak black beans for a long time before consuming them, but this process leaches out the valuable antioxidants. Here's where vinegar comes in. Soaking black beans in vinegar for about a week ferments them, making the dietary fiber easier to digest and enhancing the detox effect. Moreover, eating black beans with vinegar improves blood circulation, ensuring the expelled toxins don't remain in the body. Now, let's look at the second worst food combination with black beans, black bean water. Many people have consumed black bean water as a substitute for plain water, believing it detoxifies the body. However, caution is necessary when substituting any food for water, especially when the food, like black beans, has potent medicinal properties. Firstly, black beans are particularly beneficial for women due to the isoflavones they contain. These isoflavones have a molecular structure almost identical to female hormones. As women age, the secretion of female hormones decreases, leading to menopausal symptoms, weaker bones, and increased susceptibility to breast cancer and kidney diseases. Consuming black beans replenishes plant-based female hormones, preventing diseases caused by hormonal deficiency. Moreover, lush hair and glossy black locks are signs of youth, and the isoflavones and black pigments in black beans work together to create a youth elixir. However, consuming black beans as a water substitute can have more significant side effects. Black beans taste slightly sweet and nutty due to a component called galactin, a type of oligosaccharide. This component hinders digestion and absorption, causing chronic indigestion and bloating, which is harmful to gut health. Additionally, consuming too many isoflavones can disrupt hormonal balance and even lead to cancer. Therefore, instead of drinking black bean water, include black beans in your meals, like in mixed grain rice. This way, the beans are properly digested, and nutrient absorption is maximized. Now, the second best food combination with black beans is seaweed. Have you ever noticed foam forming when boiling black beans? This foam contains saponins, compounds typically found in ginseng, which are also abundant in black beans. These saponins break down sticky debris and cholesterol in the blood vessels, not just around the heart but all the way to the extremities, thereby improving and facilitating blood circulation. Thus, black beans are excellent for preventing hyperlipidemia, hypertension, and arteriosclerosis. However, these saponins can also excrete iodine from the body, impairing thyroid function. Iodine is like fuel for the thyroid, and its deficiency can lead to weight gain, chronic fatigue, and even brain cell damage and dementia, as warned by the World Health Organization. Eating black beans with seaweed perfectly balances nutrition, as seaweed is a high-protein food, comparable to an egg. 
Together, they promote firm, elastic skin, strong muscles, and lush, black hair. Lastly, the third worst food combination with black beans is beef. Despite black beans being nicknamed beef from the field, they do not pair well with actual beef. Beef is rich in high-quality protein, vitamins, and especially iron. However, the iron absorption in the body significantly decreases when consumed with black beans, due to the dietary fiber in black beans. This fiber cleanses blood clots and cholesterol from the blood vessels and controls the digestion time to prevent blood sugar spikes, making it excellent for diabetes prevention. But it also blocks the absorption of iron from beef, and conversely, the digestion and absorption process of black beans can deplete the body's iron. This can lead to the circulation of stale blood causing inflammation and cancer, and dropping hemoglobin levels. Hemoglobin is vital for transporting oxygen-rich, fresh blood, playing a crucial role in memory and dementia prevention, as well as overall health. Therefore, consume beef and black beans separately to benefit from each health properties. Finally, the last best food combination with black beans is eggs. Have you ever felt like your memory is foggy, as if shrouded in mist? This phenomenon, known as brain fog, can be resolved by consuming eggs and black beans together. Eggs contain a nutrient called choline, which produces brain neurotransmitters, facilitating rapid brain function. The lecithin in black beans miraculously protects brain cells from damage and enhances the brain and nerve functions. Thus, eating eggs and black beans together is a miraculous combination for brain health. In summary, to reap the health benefits of black beans, avoid consuming them with milk, instead ferment them with vinegar. Don't use black bean water as a water substitute, rather, include them in mixed grain rice. And finally, instead of eating black beans with beef, pair them with eggs to fully enjoy their health and taste benefits. Enjoy these beneficial food combinations with black beans and protect your health. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time, did you know that eating potatoes with certain foods can lead to health issues like cancer and dementia? It's true that there are good and bad food combinations with healthy potatoes. Even beneficial potatoes need to be eaten correctly to be good for your body. Eating them with the wrong foods can actually harm your health. So, we've prepared this, a guide to the three worst and three best food combinations with potatoes for cancer and dementia prevention. When you're feeling a bit hungry, there's a snack that often comes to mind, steamy, fluffy potatoes. We eat hot boiled potatoes by blowing on them and dipping them in sugar or salt solution. Potatoes, with their soft texture and mild flavor, are deliciously prepared as potato pancakes, fries, or braised dishes. Today's star ingredient is the potato. Potatoes are loved by people of all ages worldwide. In times of frequent famines, they were a staple food, and in better times, they became a popular snack or delicacy. Nowadays, they are recognized as a diet food due to their high water content and low calories. But did you know that there are foods that, when eaten with potatoes, can be harmful to health? 
Starting now, we'll take a look at the three worst and three best food combinations with potatoes for preventing cancer and dementia. The first worst combination with potatoes is surprisingly bananas. Despite bananas being rich in nutrients and dietary fiber and excellent for satiety, they are not a good combination with potatoes for health reasons. We all know it's important to consume less salt for cardiovascular health. Excessive sodium intake can raise blood pressure due to osmotic pressure. However, it's also crucial to consume potassium, which helps expel sodium from the body. Potatoes are rich in potassium, which expands blood vessels and efficiently eliminates waste and sodium from the body. Interestingly, potassium is also great for bone health and helps prevent osteoporosis. Potatoes' alkaline potassium also neutralizes blood acidity, preventing calcium from leaching out of bones. It also helps prevent sudden muscle cramps in legs or calves. So, potatoes can significantly benefit hypertension, arteriosclerosis, stroke, and bone and muscle health. But the issue is that bananas, like potatoes, also contain high amounts of potassium. Excessive potassium intake can disrupt cellular water balance, leading to muscle weakness, paralysis, chronic tingling in hands and feet, arrhythmia, and acute hypertension. Therefore, it's best to eat potatoes and bananas separately to benefit from their nutritional content. Now, let's talk about the best food combination with potatoes, vinegar. It might seem strange, but vinegar and potatoes are a great match. Potatoes are a rich source of vitamin C, and a single potato contains more than the daily recommended intake of vitamin C. This vitamin helps relieve stress, acts as an antioxidant, boosts immunity, strengthens collagen tissue, maintains firm skin, and prevents aging. Though vitamin C is sensitive to heat and acid, potatoes' vitamin C is protected by its starch content and isn't easily destroyed by cooking. However, not all of the high vitamin C content in potatoes is absorbed by the body. That's where vinegar comes in. Vitamin C absorption increases in an acidic environment. Adding a bit of vinegar or lemon juice to potato dishes or boiling potatoes in vinegar water can maximize vitamin C absorption. The second worst food combination with potatoes is fried potatoes or pancakes. While delicious, these cooking methods are not healthy. Frying and pan frying increase calorie content and lead to trans fats, which are harmful for obesity and cardiovascular diseases. Furthermore, fried potatoes can contain acrylamide, a substance that can cause cancer and attack brain proteins, leading to Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's. The World Health Organization and the International Agency for Research on Cancer have designated acrylamide as a carcinogen. While frying potatoes at temperatures below 175 degrees Celsius or boiling them in vinegar water can reduce acrylamide formation, it's best to avoid these methods for health reasons. A miraculous way to enjoy potatoes without worrying about blood sugar is to steam or boil them, then store them in the refrigerator overnight. This process creates resistant starch which doesn't break down into glucose, hence not spiking blood sugar. Resistant starch passes through the intestines, fermenting and benefiting gut health without raising blood sugar. So, instead of unhealthy fried potatoes or pancakes, it's better to store cooked potatoes in the fridge and eat them later. The second best food combination with potatoes is milk. We mentioned earlier that potassium in potatoes prevents muscle cramps, but another reason to eat potatoes is their protein content. Though it might be surprising, potatoes contain high-quality protein with excellent absorption rates. Potato protein is comparable to milk and egg protein and even better than soy protein. Potatoes lack vitamin A, calcium, and fat 
which milk can supplement. Conversely, milk lacks vitamin C, which potatoes provide, making them a perfect combination. Enjoying potatoes with milk, whether blended together or in a warm soup, is beneficial, especially during colder days. A tip, always eat the potato skin, as it contains concentrated polyphenols, which are antioxidants. So, steam a large batch of potatoes, store them in the fridge overnight, and enjoy them with the skin and potato soup or milk for a nutritious meal without blood sugar concerns. The third worst food combination with potatoes is sprouted green potatoes. We know not to eat potato sprouts due to their solanine content, but green potatoes are also harmful. The greening indicates increased solanine levels, a signal of toxicity. Solanine, a natural pesticide produced by nightshade plants like potatoes, is highly toxic and can cause headache, stomach ache, nausea, and in severe cases, breathing difficulties. It's not water-soluble and doesn't break down until heated above 285 degrees Celsius, so washing or cooking doesn't remove it. Increased exposure to sunlight leads to more solanine, so store potatoes in a dark place. Discard sprouted or green potatoes for your health. A tip, storing potatoes with apples can prevent sprouting due to ethylene gas from apples, allowing for longer storage. The third and last best food combination with potatoes is onions. Did you know that potatoes are good for stomach health? The reason lies in their polyphenol and arginine content, which protect the stomach lining, prevent cell degeneration, reduce inflammation, and remove toxins. Potatoes are one of the top alkaline agricultural products, making them an excellent future health food. Alkaline foods are beneficial as they neutralize acidity in the body, which can lead to various diseases, including cancer. Onions, like potatoes, are famous for their alkaline properties and enhance potatoes' anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer effects. Onions, known for cleaning blood vessels, strengthen vessel walls and dissolve inflammation. They also improve the absorption of vitamins and potatoes. Therefore, cooking potatoes with onions is highly recommended. Try potato onion stir-fry, braised dishes, or soup for a healthy and delicious meal. To summarize, avoid eating potassium-rich bananas with potatoes and instead combine them with vinegar. Refrain from unhealthy cooking methods like frying or making pancakes and opt for boiled or steamed potatoes with milk. Avoid sprouted or green potatoes, and instead, enjoy them with onions for added health benefits. Remember these combinations to make the most out of the nutritious and delicious potatoes. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time. A lot about how three cups of coffee a day are good for your health. However, consuming it in this way can actually harm your health, especially due to something often eaten with coffee. Are you aware that this could lead to diseases like cancer and dementia? There are certain foods that pair best with coffee and others that are the worst combinations. We have prepared information on three of the worst food combinations and three of the best to prevent cancer and dementia. Drinking two to three cups of coffee a day can prevent diabetes, dementia, cancer, and cardiovascular diseases, thanks to its amazing health benefits. Additionally, caffeine's stimulating effect adds vitality and energy to our daily life. 
The pleasant aroma of coffee can boost dopamine production, making you feel good and even helping with depression. But did you know that certain foods, when eaten with coffee, can harm your health? Let's now look at three of the worst food combinations with coffee for preventing cancer and dementia, as well as three of the best for extending our lifespan in a healthy way. The first worst coffee food is mixed coffee. Many people habitually grab a cup of mixed coffee, but when you open a packet, you'll find instant coffee granules, a huge amount of sugar, and powdered creamer or synthetic additives. Putting aside the freshness of the coffee granules, the excessive amount of sugar poses the biggest problem. You already know sugar is bad for your body, but why is mixed coffee particularly harmful? It's because it's often consumed after meals. If you have already consumed carbohydrates and sugar during your meal and your blood sugar is already high, what happens if you drink sugary mixed coffee as a dessert? Right, it increases insulin resistance and leaves excess sugar circulating in your bloodstream. This excess blood sugar acts as a toxin in the body, causing inflammation in the blood vessels, which can lead to cancer. If it reaches the liver, it can cause fatty liver disease, and if it goes to the brain, it reduces the size of the hippocampus responsible for memory, leading to dementia. Of course, it's also a major cause of diabetes, obesity, hypertension, and other metabolic syndromes. That's not all. The powdered creamer, which adds a rich flavor, is the second major problem. Its high fat content is easily stored in the body as visceral fat. So, drinking mixed coffee after meals is the worst habit that increases waist circumference and blood cholesterol levels. So, what kind of coffee should you drink? Plain black coffee or Americano, made with fresh beans and without sugar, is the best. It's good for your health if you drink two to three cups of it a day. Some people add syrup to their coffee. Syrup, also called liquid fructose or corn syrup, is much worse for your health than sugar, so it should never be added. Then, what should you add to coffee? The first best food combination with coffee is cinnamon. Cinnamon can elevate the benefits of coffee, making it like a tonic. One of the world's top three spices, cinnamon can significantly enhance the effects of coffee. In Mexico, for example, traditional coffee known as Café de Alia, topped with a cinnamon stick, is enjoyed as a health and longevity secret. Did you know that coffee is excellent for heart health? The European Society of Cardiology recently announced that three cups of coffee a day can reduce the risk of stroke and cardiovascular diseases by an impressive 60%. The reason is that coffee is rich in polyphenols, antioxidants. Amazingly, the amount of polyphenols in coffee is three times that in green tea and nine times that in black tea. These components strengthen blood vessels, purify the blood, and even reduce inflammation levels in the vessels. Cinnamon also has an abundance of polyphenols. When combined, coffee and cinnamon create a powerful synergy. Interestingly, cinnamon polyphenols expand blood vessels and provide nutrients to joints. As the weather gets colder, many people experience numbness and swelling in their hands and feet. Drinking coffee with cinnamon can help improve blood circulation. You can either stick a cinnamon stick in your coffee or add half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder to find the golden ratio. The second worst combination with coffee is medication, including prescription drugs from hospitals. Some people might think that taking medicine with coffee can accelerate the effects of metabolism-boosting drugs, but this is not advisable. Taking supplements after meals with coffee is a common practice but it's harmful. Coffee can momentarily help you overcome drowsiness and increase concentration due to the stimulating effect of caffeine, which enhances blood circulation and makes you feel more energetic. 
This is a good effect, but taking medicine with coffee is very dangerous. First, supplements are full of good ingredients like vitamins B, C, and minerals like iron. However, caffeine in coffee prevents these beneficial components from being absorbed in the stomach, rendering them useless. Moreover, taking prescription drugs with coffee can cause more serious problems. For example, aspirin and stomach medications, when taken with coffee, can stimulate gastric acid production and cause severe irritation to the stomach, leading to serious conditions like spasms, perforations, and chronic gastritis. Also, cold medicines that already have a stimulating effect can cause the heart to beat rapidly and increase blood pressure when combined with the stimulating effect of caffeine, leading to emergency situations like arrhythmias and cerebral hemorrhage. If you are taking diuretics for conditions like hypertension, combining them with coffee's diuretic effect can put a lot of strain on the kidneys. Therefore, avoid taking supplements and prescription drugs with coffee and maintain a gap of 1 to 2 hours between them to ensure the effectiveness of the medication and the health benefits of coffee. The second best combination with coffee is milk. Many people enjoy cafe lattes or cappuccinos, which reduce the bitterness and acidity of coffee, adding a smooth and creamy taste and aroma. But did you know that drinking coffee often makes you visit the bathroom more frequently? It's because of the diuretic effect of caffeine in coffee, which aids metabolism and blood circulation, helping to expel waste more quickly. While this is good, it also poses a big problem. Caffeine causes calcium to be expelled from the body. This is why coffee is called a calcium thief. Caffeine can hinder the absorption of calcium in the body. So how can this drawback be overcome? Simply by drinking coffee with milk, the king of calcium, you can solve this problem. As caffeine expels calcium, milk replenishes it, allowing you to enjoy coffee without any worries. Additionally, the bitterness and acidity of coffee can stimulate the stomach and increase gastric acid production, but milk creates a protective layer in the stomach and neutralizes acidity. It also adds protein, balancing the nutritional content of coffee, making it the perfect match. The third worst combination with coffee is chocolate. You might be surprised. A sweet chocolate cake and a cup of Americano taste great together. Some people even eat dark chocolate with coffee for dieting purposes. Coffee aids in weight loss, do you know why? It's because of brown fat. When we think of fat, we usually think of bad fats like visceral fat that causes weight gain. This bad fat stores excess nutrients in the form of white fat. On the other hand, good brown fat burns bad fat and prevents obesity. Surprisingly, the caffeine in coffee stimulates this good brown fat, aiding in weight loss. Furthermore, caffeine accelerates the burning of fat by boosting metabolism. But if you eat dark chocolate with coffee, it can cause serious problems, as both chocolate and coffee are rich in caffeine. Consuming them together can lead to excessive caffeine intake. The American Heart Association warns that excessive caffeine intake can cause severe stimulation, increasing the risk of arrhythmia-induced heart attack. Therefore, avoid eating chocolate with coffee in the future. Enjoy them separately. Lastly, the third best combination with coffee is nuts. Did you know that coffee is beneficial for brain health and dementia prevention? It's true. The caffeine in 2 to 3 cups of coffee a day can inhibit the formation of tau proteins that cause dementia. Additionally, the antioxidants in coffee protect and regenerate brain nerve cells, enhancing cognitive abilities in memory and preventing dementia, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's diseases. When nuts are eaten with coffee, they create an incredible synergy. Do you know how much energy our brain consumes from the body's total energy? It's a whopping 20%. Therefore, it's important to consume enough brain-friendly nutrients. 
Nuts like walnuts, almonds, and peanuts are rich in various nutrients and unsaturated fatty acids. They activate brain cells, enhancing memory, and clean the blood vessels of fats, ensuring smooth blood flow and oxygen supply throughout the body. So, remember to pair your coffee with a handful of nuts to add a nutty flavor and boost your health. We have looked at three of the worst and best food combinations with coffee. Let's summarize. Instead of sugar-filled mixed coffee, drink Americano and sprinkle cinnamon or cinnamon powder for health. Avoid taking supplements and prescription drugs with coffee, and drink it with milk. Avoid eating chocolate with coffee, and instead pair it with nuts to take care of your health. How about that? Enjoy your coffee with the right food pairings to protect your health. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next